Classes from both PSW and nursing at the Seven Generations Education Institute in Fort Francis have been at maximum capacity, leaving would-be students waiting another year before they can begin their education. However, help is on the way following an announcement of $13 million by the province this past week. Adam Riley has the details. But my passion was to work in Indigenous communities in the far north. And so I moved to Sioux Lookout. I had my diploma in nursing, and off I went. At just 21 years of age, Greg Rickford was focused on bringing the best health care he could as a nurse to residents in the far north. Flash forward to today, Rickford is doing the same thing now in his capacity as the MPP for Kenora Rainy River and as Ontario's Minister of Indigenous Affairs, specifically through Indigenous-led education, which is why on Wednesday he announced $12.9 million in funding which will go towards expanding the Seven Generations Education Institute's capacity to teach in the fields of nursing and personal support work, with $2 million dedicated to this year and growing to over $5 million by year three. CEO Brent Tukane says this money could lead to hundreds of new graduates entering the field. We have uh, three campuses who look out, uh, Fort Francis and, and Kenora, and there'll be 12 at each of those uh, programs, so another 36 uh, total each year in, in, say, nursing and then PSW as well. So, you know, we're looking at a significant number of people, uh, you know, hopefully if everybody is successful in the programming. Tukane adds this funding will also remove a massive barrier for students seeking higher education, and that is the financial component. Rickford says one of the benefits of having seven generations and other Indigenous education institutes involved in this training surge is the language component, something he had to learn while performing his duties as a nurse. The ability to have Indigenous and non-Indigenous um, students trained at least in, in the basics uh, and some of them um, as their first language will only enhance the quality of the health care um, that... Uh, uh, that Indigenous people receive here. As the funding is not dedicated to physical expansion of the classrooms themselves, seven generations will be increasing the number of available classes and hiring the appropriate staff. Adam Riley, TBT News.